Sugar here, and today I'm going to be doing a review of the 2018 Spring Miku version. It is a prize figure. I won her through an app called Kariba, I think it's called. Sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong, I'm so bad with pronouncing things. Probably the Canadian in me. Anyway, so I won her through the Toriba app. And what it is, is you plug in some money and you get some points. And with those points you get to play actual crane games in Japan. You control them through your phone. And if you win something, uh, every seven or two weeks, I can't remember exactly, you can ship it to you for free. So basically, if you win, you don't have to pay shipping and you get the prize for whatever amount of money you spent. So you can win them for maybe three dollars if you win it on the first go, but that's not very likely to happen. Uh, and you do get a free play once per day, so be wary of that because it kind of gets you lured in. You think, oh, I'm going to do that free play and then, oh, I might win if I spend a little bit of money. Uh, so just be careful of that. It's very easy to get caught up in the app and spend $60 on a prize figure like this when you think you're close to winning it. When really you could order her online for maybe $20. Price figures aren't very valuable, so do keep that in mind when playing the game. Now, back to the figure. So. I find she is an adorable prize figure. She's actually probably one of my new favorite figures. I just really love her design and I really love the colors that they've gone with it. So I'm a sucker for pastel, so obviously anything that's done with spring themes I am gravitated to. Uh, but I just really love her. For one, the hair with the translucent fade to pink, which I love translucent features in figures. I see that many times, but this one's really dramatic, so I really like that. Uh, she has nice clean paint. She even has like nail polish on. I'll bring it up close so that you can see. And she has bracelets and everything is just so clean and well done. Especially for a prize figure. From a distance I would not have realized that this was a prize figure. Her odangos did come separate so you have to kind of plug them in and they did feel kind of fragile when I was kind of pushing them into their little slots right here. So I would say do be careful with that. Uh, maybe take your time, heat it up a little bit with a blow dryer if it's not going in very easily. Uh, so once she's plugged in though and she's put on her base, she's pretty sturdy. It doesn't feel like she's going anywhere. There is one flaw here. I do. It looks like a bit of paint transfer from oh, something white. Not a big deal, but again, it's not really something that's going to bother me. And everything else is just so good. Prize figures have been upping their game so much lately. It's super, super impressive. Her face uh, is, I believe they use stickers for the detailing on the face. So it's really clean and well done. But if you catch it in the light the right way, which let's see if I can. There, you can kind of see a teeny bit on her forehead right above her left eye. It's a little bit shiny. So you can kind of see how they set the stickers on. And it's only in like right there, in those areas, it's a little bit shiny. The rest of the figure is not, and you really have to have it in a certain angle in the light to even notice that. So I, that detail doesn't bother me at all. The base is really cute too. It's a clear plastic with a little bow and some flowers. Again, yeah, I'm tipping her all over the place. She's, she's not going anywhere. She's doing good. My only concern with her is because she has such an angle to her leg and it's such a small point for all the weight of the figure to be resting on and she is a fairly soft and bendable plastic. I feel like over time, if she was stored in a hot room, uh, she may say, uh, some of my prize figures have little details or wings and things that uh, over time do kind of lose their spunk. <laughs> So because she all the weight is right here and it's angled, I feel like that might be an issue with her. So I would try and keep her stored in a cool temperature. If you do notice that happening, you can heat up the plastic with a blow dryer or hot water and then reshape it. So bend it to the position you want it to be in and then dunk it in ice water after and that will reset it. But it'll probably slowly sag again over time. So maybe something that you have to do. But these run at about they're maybe valued at, you could probably get them for $10 in Japan, but by the time you pay shipping for worldwide, at least to Canada anyway, uh, you're looking at about $25 for her. Uh, so really, when you compare paying $200 for another figure 
like a good small company scale figure this is really really phenomenal in my opinion for the price difference I do love my scale figures and the quality is definitely noticeably better than this but their prize figures lately have just been so awesome I just have to recommend looking into the prize figures depending on the brand I still see some wonky prize figures these days but uh, this one in particular is just really good and I'm so excited to have her in my collection. One of the other ones I got recently is a Modica figure and actually the textures of the prize figure of the material look like material, like they took the time to texture the plastic. So I'm excited to get that one here and see how that looks because none of my scale figures even have that kind of detail to them. But anyway, yeah, so this is the Spring Sakura with her beautiful spring colorway and pastel colors and details. And that is about everything I think I have to say on her. So see you next time and stay magical. Bye!